This movie is a detective noir narrative set in 1939 California with a World War II backdrop which tells a story about a brooding down-on-his-luck detective who is hired to find the ex-lover of a glamorous woman. This movie involves everything from corruption, drug smuggling, gangsters, love affairs, missing persons, and a mother and daughter problem. Unfortunately, the movie fails to find anything beyond basic intrigue in any of those threads. This movie actually looks good as the production design does a decent job of evoking the times. Visually, the movie is going for a dreamlike colorful fantasy which is beautiful in its own right. However, this visual aspect doesn't really support the story. The story is muddled and flimsy. This movie offers mystery without intrigue. The mystery is too easily solved and too muddily motivated. The villains, McGuffins, and Red Herrings are all present. However, all feel flat without requisite interesting story. The movie is basically all style with no substance as there's very little going on underneath. This is the main problem of the movie as the setting and visual are just right, but the movie is interested only in creating images and nothing else. For most of the runtime, this movie is just plodding investigation from one location to another, blandly asking questions without any cinematic appeal or engagement. Everything here is routine and perfunctory as the script fails to present the purpose, motifs, and struggles of the characters. To make it worse, apart from Jessica Lang, most of the cast are languid. They act like they are all bored with the story before they tell it, and then they tell it while trying not to fall asleep. Even Liam Neeson, who plays the main character, really struggles in this movie. Overall, this movie is really boring and not really worth your time. We do not recommend this movie at all.